I'm really hoping we're going to have some fun today. Today we're going to learn about what it means to infer or what is inferencing. This is a common question asked by teachers. A question students always shy away from until one day, magically, they understand. So you may be thinking, blah, 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 but I want to make it easier for you. Inferencing is like predicting, but better. You are giving clues about a story or scenario and your job is to determine what happened. In these examples, you will be given clues that may seem obvious, but your job is to use your schema and clues to determine what happened. Schema is something that you already know that is in your head and clues, of course, you're gonna act like a detective trying to figure out who this person is. Take the following examples. Stick person has a baby. She just got spit up on. Look around at the scene and use your schema and the clues to determine who stick person could be. Pause the video and discuss with the partner. Okay, now on to example two. As you can see, we have a man that we may not know anything about yet. What are some clues that you can use to figure out who this man is? What do you know? He has a briefcase. He looks like he's running and he's late for something. Who is he? You're doing a really good job. Now consider the following. Take your time. For an additional challenge, think about the books you have read this year. How do you use inference skills? What about the movies you read or you listened to? Did you use inference skills then? We use inference skills all the time. Try these challenges or these inference uh, activities with a partner. <laughs> 